Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we were testing every single mask in the world. I do mean the world. We are on the hunt for legitimate surgical masks and on that journey, we have uh, went to Alibaba and uh, other places in, in China to find FDA listed surgical masks. We actually got this from a manufacturer called 3Q. Uh, it's actually made by a company called the Rizhao Sanki Medical Health and Articles Co. This is a legitimate FDA cleared uh, 510K surgical mask. So let's get it in the clamper and see what happens. Ah, very hard to clamp though. Almost clamp my finger. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. The reason why this machine is so important is because we are doing the actual test that the FDA does that, a, that uh, you would do for an ASTM level three mask. Um, this is claiming to be 98% at filtering out bacteria, which is a stupid thing, because uh, bacteria is huge and compared to like something for the coronavirus, but it's also um, an ASTM three mask is gonna be 98% uh, at filtering uh, something about the size of the coronavirus. They've actually sent their Nelson Labs report. This is a legitimate report. It's got the actual sponsor name with their location, uh, the actual name, the Razo Sanki Medical Health and Articles Co. And they are showing on their test 99% efficiency. This is the test that we are doing here. We're doing the same test that Nelson does. The difference, just a disclaimer, they're using GLP, good laboratory practices. That means it's being done in a clean room. It means that it's being done with someone with a face mask. It means it's being done by a real lab tech, not by some guy on YouTube. Um, so it may vary. Very nice packaging. Very well, uh, nicely done. Um, sealed in this plastic and it's got this nice Wish I'll just leave it here. It's got this nice open thing and it's serrated, so it just opens. This is a, wow, this is one of the best packaged masks I've seen in a while, like for a hospital, because you've got this top and you can just pull things right out there. I don't like this style where you can see the nose wire right there, um, but it is a double nose wire. It's a really nice nose wire. And look at that, they've got the manufacturer name right there, 3Q. Great quality spun bond. Nice ear loops, very strong. 510K mask should be really strong. That's a very high quality mask. This smells uh, a little bit like uh, uh, Chinese polypropylene and the cardboard that it came in. Um, so I'm gonna call this smell um, SF Express. Kind of like an Asian UPS, if you will. Um, a lot of things that come from China come from SF Freight. All right, but the whole reason you're here is to join us on this journey. Now remember, uh, this mask needs to hit 98% on this exact machine. This is the machine that does the test. And they gave us, they gave us this lab report from Nelson Labs, which I think is probably a legitimate re report. So it should pass the test, right? It should say 98%. What does it say? 83, 83.954, 83.954. Now again, I'm doing, an aggressive version of the ASTM test here. Um, but that's not even close. It makes me worried uh, uh, that this would pass the FDA standard. Um, this is one of the concerns that, that we have, right? This is one of the concerns that when something comes from overseas, if it's outside of the FDA's control, the FDA doesn't have time to test every single mask that comes in. Neither do I. <laughs> so, so what are we gonna do about that? Like, I don't know. Um, we should feel that if something has that stamp of approval, that it can be trusted. And in this case, um, it failed that test. Now, a lot of external factors. This was shipped in the mail. Who knows what happens to this box? But then again, like that is pretty far off. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention, and I will catch you at the next test, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. right here.